So last time we talked about current mirror, right? Do you still remember? I think uh, even you forgot the equation, right? I hope you understand the idea of current mirror. We have a golden current source, 0 0.3 milliampere, for example. No matter what temperature, what air, what pressure, uh, or the voltage across it, it always gives us 0 0.3 milliampere. And I want to copy this to other places because this small circle actually represents a very large area on your silicon chip and it spends a lot of engineering time to design, very expensive. We don't want to have the current source everywhere, so we want to copy it, right? So we have the so-called current mirror. Do you still remember or have an idea how the current that is copied from one place to another place, how they are related to each other? The ratio of the W on L, very good. Right? I hope you have this idea, right? And why is that? that then let's, uh, let me draw th this circuit one more time because it was from last time. Right? We say that maybe our current mirror can be something like this. So this is W on L, I call it ref. And this is W on L, I call it one, right? And I say this is I one. So you just told me what is the relationship? And this is, I call it I zero. So what is the relationship between I one divided by I zero? W on L1 divided by W on L ref. Do you agree? Is it intuitive? I hope you, you, you feel this is intuitive, right? You won't swap it. Because, for example, you won't say W on L out divided by W on L1. Because you understand that if I have a wider transistor under the same gate potential, because the idea is to convert the current to a potential Vx. So both of them share the same Vx. So under the same gate bias, if I have a larger transistor, I should have a larger current. Okay? Now, I have this complicated circuit. And I want to ask you, what is the current going through I1 and uh, M1 and M2, right? Now, don't panic, don't jump to it. Let's try to understand what we are trying to do. You see that I have in one, I have out one. Then you know that this must be an amplifier, right? What type of amplifier is this? Source follower. He says source follower. Let's see if this is true. What is the, what type of transistor is this? NMOS or PMOS? Based on the drawing, it is MOS, right? Because the arrow pointing up, right? So where is string? Top, source, gate. So input to the gate, output to, for, to, at the source. So this is a source follower, like what he said. Very good, right? So this is a source follower, done. Then why do I have this circuit below? Let's just recall what a source follower is supposed to be. In the past, we say that for a source follower, yeah, this is V out, this is V in, but we, exactly, you need to have a resistor or you need to bias it with a current, right? And what? how do we bias it? You either bias it with a resistor or a bias with a current source. And this is the current source, okay? So I could have spent a lot of money, hired two more engineers, one more engineer, half years to design a very good current source here, right? Which is independence of temperature, independence of voltage, and from this circuit. But then my, my project, the whole system, is going to be, to occupy a lot of area because I need to design a current source here. 
So what do I do here? I say, I just design one. And I want to copy this one to here, right? So this is not something I care about in this question now. Yes, it is a source follower. What I care is about is how much current is used to bias this one, right? In other words, if I call this ISF, I want to know what is ISF in this case. Do you see that, right? This part of the circuit is to implement this ideal circuit, right? So now I only need to know what is ISF. Now, based on this, what is this again? This whole thing? So, huh? No, current mirror, right? So let's start. Based on the equation, what will be ISF? Two third. Good, two by three, right? Same. What you're saying is the same. Because ISF divided by 0 0.3 milliampere equal to two units of W on L divided by three units of W on L, right? Because this is three, this is two, right? You should follow the ratio, right? So based on this, you just do the multiplication, you get ISF, which is I1, of course, equals to 0 0.2 milliampere. Is this clear? So you might nervous, well, is that right? Yes, because if there's no channel length modulation, the current here completely depends on the gate bias, correct? Yeah, so it really doesn't matter what I'm loading it, right? Because it's a perfect uh, current source, right? So this is 0 0.3, right? So I give you half minutes. Uh, let, before we do that, let me explain. Let's still go over the circuit. Now, I then have another circuit. What circuit is this? Yeah, someone say PMOS and then someone say CS, right? Because PMOS... So what is the top source? This is drain. This is gate, right? So input is at gate, output is at drain. So this is a common source amplifier. Again, how do we bias a PMOS common source? What we usually do is we in, we out. I cannot throw it, right? I need to bias by using a V RD, or in this case, I again, bias it with a common source, I mean, with a current source, right? So this is current source, right? So can you try uh, 13 sec 30 seconds, right? What is ID? What do I get from here? Uh, some of you might not be very familiar with this drawing. What is, does it, what you mean is there is an eye connecting this point to this point and also from this point to this point, so in parallel, okay? So what is the current here? Okay, yeah, any others please think about that also. What is the current here? Again, this is in parallel. So this one is connected to this point directly, right? And they are voltage. Hmm? It is what? It's a note, same note. Yeah, same note. Yeah, five third of this one. Mm -hmm. Everyone, any questions? Right, so again, we repeat. I CS divided by 0 0.3 milliampere equals to five W on L divided by three W on L. So ICS, which is I2, equal to 0 0.5 milliampere. Okay, just like what you said. This one is not going to affect me because it's in parallel. We're just tapping to the same outlet, right? This gives me certain voltage. We all give, get the same voltage. So now you see that I don't, this one may consume, let's say, 10 transistors and large transistors. 
Now I only need two additional transistors. Then I successfully form some very high quality current source for two amplifier. And you can imagine I can have many more amplifier in the same system. And that is how you do the copy. Another thing um, is not here, it might be in the homework, is that because of KCL, this current must be equal to this current, right? And I can actually form, treat this as a current source and then form another current mirror in the PMOS, right? But we will do it in homework, okay? Any questions? Okay, if no, then let's move forward. Uh, we go to a new topic, differential amplifier. 